Hello and welcome to the Peroxide Guide for Comrock on Mythic Difficulty. For this encounter you want to bring 2 tanks, 3 to 4, four healers and Raz DPS. The main thing that changes from normal or heroic to mythic is ability called Splash. I highly recommend you get the add-on called Exorcist Rattles. It is a very useful add-on for this fight because of the ability called Splash so you have an easy time assigning people to their spots. Whenever Cornrock is going to leap into the pool, he will cause this mythic ability called Splash. The way to counter this ability is to assign players to certain spots so they can absorb the initial splashes to keep the ground clear, so you have room to dodge the abilities and such. When he jumps into yellow pool, he gains empowered explosive runes. When they're triggered, they reform ahead of your movement from where they were triggered. The best way to counter this is to bring them all in the middle. Make sure you're positioned forward from where, where you step on it, so you can clump them up. I highly recommend you use rogues for this because they are fast and they can use faint or cloak of shadows to reduce a lot of damage. Apart from that, Cormorc will also perform explosive burst on the tank that's currently tanking. When that happens, the other tank performs the tank switch. Everybody runs away from the tank with explosive burst to avoid taking damage. After explosive burst detonates, the tank gets the debuff called Fell Touch and it will increase the, da the magic damage they take. When he jumps into the purple pool, he gains empowered Fell Outpouring. Cormorc will spawn waves from all three pools instead of just one. Also, he does another ability to the tanks which is called SWAT. You want to make sure that your back is positioned towards the wall. I recommend the side between green and purple, there's a nice gap to stand on there. Once you get knocked away, you perform the tank switch. If he's casting SWAT, don't taunt before that because you will get knocked away. Apart from that, this also applies the debuff called Fell Touch. Uh, also another thing you can do is call for a priest grip so you can be immediately on the main platform and not suffer damage from splash. When he jumps into the green pole, he gains empowered grasping hands. Instead of being just struck by these hands, they will also drag you into the pool and try to kill you. Make sure you group up behind the boss, use personal and healing cooldowns and AoE down the hands as fast as you can. He does another ability to tanks you have to deal with and it is called Fall Crush. You get grabbed by this bigger hand and that's when you perform the tank switch. During this time, you want to make sure you use personal cooldown to minimize the damage you take. After you get out of the hand, you will also be affected by Fell Touch debuff. Cormrock does another ability apart from the empowered ones and that one's called Pounding. For this ability you want to make sure you're spread 4 yards from each other and that's pretty much the best way you can counter it. After Cormrock soaks all the pools he will enrage, increasing his haste and apart from that he will also perform abilities faster. This was my guide for Cormrock on Mythic Difficulty. If you liked the video, let me know down in the comment section below, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to check any of the other guides, just click the annotations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.